This is the Cannabis Podcast on Radio Influence. It's an inside look and the scientific facts in and around the world of medical cannabis. Now, here is your host, Ian Beckles. Hello, everybody. This is Ian Beckles, and welcome back to the Dignitary Cannabis Podcast. I've been doing this podcast for a couple of years now, and I started this uh, because of, first and foremost, my love for cannabis. And uh, I also want to get educated on what cannabis can do for me and do for my people as well. And you guys are my people. Uh, normally, we just do a podcast. Now, in the next few times, we're going to mess around with the webcast as well, so you guys can be able to visually see a few things that I have going on around here. As you see, i got some of my bells and whistles and also my, my cognac right here, just in case I uh, I get a little bit thirsty. First and foremost, I want to give some love to Cura Leave, who is my title sponsor. For those of you that are into the dispensary world, um, they're my favorite dispensary. I've talked about some other dispensaries you know, throughout the years, and uh, Cura Leaf has just become my go-to dispensary to where it, I'm just comfortable going there. You know, I've been to some of the other ones and not to bring up any names and, you know, talk down, you know, the other dispensaries. But to me, Cura Leaf is just the smoothest uh, dispensary out there and they have the best product. Uh, they restock and I just, I think the customer service is just the best. You walk in and it's not a lot of waiting and, you know, security guards. You just kind of walk in, go straight to the desk and they ask for your card and boom, you're ready to rock and roll. They always have specials, and uh, they have the best bud out there. So you want to go check out Cure Leaf for sure. They have one on Gandhi Boulevard right over here across from Starbucks. Uh, they have one on North Florida, and they also have one in Lutz as well. So you know, do yourself a favor for those of you who do have your, your medical card, um, and do some investigative journalism. Kind of pop here and there and see who does it the best, and I think you'll find out that uh, Cure Leaf is top notch. That's that's definitely my go-to dispensary. Now I like to tell people about the importance of getting a card. Um, there's a lot of people out there to smoke weed that still get it off of some cat on the street. I've ta I talk this way all the time. I said, listen, I tell my friends, uh, have you, you have your card? And most of them say, I don't need it. And I said, well, where do you get your marijuana? Well, I have a guy. How many strains does he have? Well, what do you mean? Well, if a guy comes with one sack of weed, you don't even know what's in that sack. It can be eight different strains. You could have hemp mixed up in it. There's a lot of different things it can be. When you talk about the science of marijuana, that's what the dispensaries are all about now. The dispensaries are about percentages, uh, knowing exactly what you need for your illnesses or what ails you. And that's what it's all about. You know, it's, it's not like it used to be. It's not a bunch of people you know, smoking raggedy leaves in the basement listening to Def Leppard anymore. I mean, it's, there's a science to it. And that's where we're going with, the, with marijuana in general. And I just want to make sure you guys are, you know, know where marijuana is gone because there's still a lot of people that still are scared of marijuana. A lot of people that say, well, I smoked marijuana in high school and I was paranoid. And that's fine. Marijuana is not for everybody. But it's come a long way. And a lot of you who have tried it and it didn't work for you, and you're scared to try it again. Once again, I'm not pushing anybody into anything, but it's just not what it used to be. And you want, you might want to check that out again. And it's about dosages and knowing exactly what you need for yourself. So it's very important that you get your medical marijuana card if you're somebody who indulges and likes to smoke marijuana like myself. Now we had uh, Dr. Cannabus that was here two weeks ago, right in front of the Dignitary Cafe. And uh, we had a bunch of people get their medical marijuana card. And that's to me, is one of the easier ways to do it. And instead of calling up a bunch of doctors, all you do is you go to drcannabus.com. That's Dr. C A N N A B U S.com. And uh, you just kind of scroll down, and they're actually going to be here again in May. It's going to be here on the uh, 17th, 18th, 19th, and 20th. So if you want to get your, your, your uh, medical card, they're going to be right out front. It's really easy. I think it takes like 20 minutes. And all you have to have is a, is a legitimate ailment, okay? 
everybody has a legitimate ailment. I don't know anybody that doesn't. You know, a lot of people have problems sleeping, anxiety, and uh, everybody has stress. There's a lot of things out there. So if you think you're somebody who wants to get that medical marijuana card, uh, do yourself a favor, go to drcatabus.com and uh, make an appointment once again, May 17th, 18th, 19th, and 20th. It's going to be right out front here at the Dignitary Cafe. Use a promo code DIGNITARY and uh, you're going to get, I think, about 10% off. It goes from $250 to about $225. So take advantage of that. Once again, promo code DIGNITARY. Now, I went to an event last weekend in Sarasota, 420 Fest SRQ. And uh, it was a great event. It really was. Uh, gave me some ideas because myself, uh, Dignitary, and my people at Creative Loafing, we're going to be putting on our own uh, can of fest on 710, which is also a weed number along with 420. And uh, we're going to be doing it at uh, Pepin Hospitality Center. So it's July 10th. Nobody wants to be outside on July 10th. All right? Nobody. So it's going to be inside. It's going to be a classy affair. And uh, it, we're going we're gonna to turn it out. We're going to have a bunch of different vendors there. So uh, it's going to be all about the cannabis world, whether it's from, you know, a, you know smoking utensils to the education of it. And uh, anything to do with cannabis, CBD, hemp is going to be there. So you definitely want to put that on your calendar for 710. Like I told you, I had a wonderful time at the uh, 420 Fest in SRQ. Picked up a few things myself. We had a booth there. It was just so, so many people were having fun. I've never seen a fest in Florida where people were walking around and just kind of indulging in marijuana as they walked around. And other than the young lady who yeah, puked on my boy Lamont's uh, wagon, uh, it, was, it went off without a hitch. I mean, everybody was having a great time. Everybody was s smiling and laughing, and, and that's what it was all about. And people were just kind of walking around, smoking freely. Cops weren't messing with nobody. Guards weren't messing with anybody. And that's what it's all about. That's what our world needs to turn into. A bunch of people having, having a wonderful time. So one of the things that I picked up there, and I like to help out as many local products as I can. That's what I'm all about. And Flavor of Tampa Bay is kind of one of the products that I've invented throughout the years. Uh, so I love to help out local products. So I walked around a little bit, got some business cards from some of the people. And uh, there was one young lady that was there. And um, she had just a, a absolutely unbelievable homemade pipes. And I'm an old school guy. When you come here to the Dignitary Cafe, it kind of has an old school feel to it. And like, I think it's from my mother growing up with those old school vases and I have an old school black mother. Okay. So I had some old school type stuff and stuff like this appeals to me. Uh, the name of the young lady, it was Toasty Treasures. And if you see this, it looks like it was probably just an old school vase back in the day and she just kind of stuck the lever in there and now it's a bong just like that take a quick hit it's lovely and you tell you what it looks good you stick that on your end table and nobody knows that's a bong you don't have to tell anybody because it's none of their business anyway so look up uh, uh definitely on instagram Toasty Treasures, she has some really, really cool stuff. I'm hoping to get her involved in our 710 event for sure. Now, I want to use this webcast as well as the podcast to show you guys and kind of let you guys into some of the products that I like to indulge in throughout the week. Because there's so many different ways to ingest THC, hemp, CBD, the timing is important, and the, met the methodology is important as well. So for myself at night, obviously you're not going to really want to be smoking a sativa at night. And for those of you, a sativa kind of brings you up, indica kind of brings you down. So at night you want to be smoking a, an indica. And uh, if you're taking any kind of edibles, edibles come in, you know, sativa and indica as well. So you want to check on that. So when you go to Cure Leave and you ask for edibles, because edibles... They hit you a different way. We all know that. If you ever take an edible, it hits you a different way. It kind of gets in your bloodstream differently. You want to make sure at night that you're not taking that sativa to get your heart rate going. And then you're sitting up all night all tripping out. Okay? So look for an, in, an indica. This week, I went over there to Cure Leaf. And uh, like I said, at late night, this is what I love right here. It's the THC Chews. You know, they come in a very cool package like this right here. Uh, real easy. And uh, here's the THC Chews. They are 10 milligrams a piece. 
They're from Cure Leave. Real easy. Take one right now. I'll be good in about an hour and a half or so from now. And uh, I'll be t honest with you, I'll take more than that. But for uh, for my show right now, it's probably not good that I ingest too many. But Cure Leave THC Chews, 10 milligrams a piece is wonderful. They come in strawberry, raspberry, lemon, and I like the watermelon. It's wonderful. Once again, make sure you know that it's an indica. That's important. Because, you know, like I said, marijuana's come a long way. And it's come a long way uh, for the betterment of the drug. Uh, or I don't want to call it a drug. It's a medication. Okay? It's just more individualized of what, what are you taking it for. Like I said, it's not like it used to be where everybody's kind of sitting around just kind of smoking and getting blowed out, not knowing what they're smoking. There's a rhyme and reason, you know, between and, and about this marijuana now. And that's what this is all about, is kind of teaching you guys what's wrong and what's right. So do yourself a favor. If you like to if you have problems sleeping, there's a couple other things I'm going to tell you about sleeping later. But if you like to sleep or you need to sleep and you're heading over to Cure Relief, just ask for the THC, THC chews. They got 10 milligrams per piece, and it's real easy to indica, so you want to take advantage of that for sure. Now, I talked to you guys last week a little bit about this strain. I want to reiterate how wonderful this strain is. Um, I always try to do a strain of the week, and this year's, this week's strain of the week is Purple Sunset. Okay, from Cure Leaf. I got a little container right here. When you smell it, it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, it's Purple Sunset is 13.7. Percent THC and one percent CBG. All right. I don't. I'm not too versed in CB, CBG. Um, to me, it's more important how much THC is in it. And you know, the, you know, the state and a lot of places around the country were trying to regulate the amount of THC that was in our marijuana, and they wanted to bring it down to ten percent or lower. And as we know, for those of us to go to the you know, the dispensaries, we don't want anything 10% or lower. So I don't know if they know what it would do if they lowered it. I'm going to tell you what it's going to do. It's going to make everybody smoke and ingest more. It's going to cost more money. And it'll probably cost more money to go to the dispensary than it is to get it on the street. And everybody's going to go back on the street. So to me, it's counterproductive. When you talk about people that do really have ailments, and you talk about veterans, they don't need less. For most part, they need more. So I'm glad that that didn't pass, and I think that's kind of on the back burner for the rest of this year. Hopefully, hopefully we don't hear a lot of that crap anymore. But once again, Purple Sunset, when I went to Cure Leaf last week, this was on sale. Purple Sunset, once again, this is an indica. I lean more towards indicas myself, all right? I don't, I don't smoke ridiculous amount during the day because I have to work and I have a radio show and I got to be somewhat lucid and I got to be able to pronounce my words. So um, I don't smoke that much during the day. Sometimes I'll dabble a little bit here and there, but I just don't do it a whole lot. And then nighttime it comes and I, I do my thing because I'm winding down and I'm trying, to, I'm trying to chill, if you understand what I mean. So this purple sunset is an indica. It's a dominant terpene is limonene. Um, and like I said, it's a very lemony, very lemony smell. And it's a cross between Purple Punch, Mandarin Sunset, and Mandarin Cookies. If anybody has ever had those strains right there. So it's, it's absolutely delicious. Smokes real smooth. Not a lot of coughing in it. And uh, I definitely suggest this. And like I said, I went into Cure Leave the other day. And they had it for $160 an ounce. So to me... It, it was a no-brainer. A good friend of mine asked me to get him some, and I'm not suggesting that you get your friends that don't have a card anything, but he happened to be in a pinch, and when I told him what I paid for it, he was tripping out, and he was somebody that ended up getting his medical marijuana card because, like I said, it doesn't make any sense anymore to be buying it off the street. It, re it really doesn't. This is, just, this is the safest way to get it done. When you walk into Cure Leaf, you're safe, Okay. And, and to me, that's, that's important. It's important that we're all safe and you just don't know what people are lacing things with. 
people spray different things and you have pesticides and a lot of different things that make you high. You don't even know what it, what's in it, but you'll know exactly what's in it when you go to Cure Leaf. So you want to make sure you, uh, you, you do it the right way. Okay, I always want everybody's lives to be as easy as possible, okay? This is about as easy as can be. For those of you that like vape pens, this is a vape pen. This little select right here, which looks like, I guess it looks like some um, uh, a woman's cosmetics or something like that. It's just a very little eyeliner looking thing. Um, but this is a vape pen, all right? I have it in my pocket at all times. Uh, the company is Select. Because Cure Leave does deal with some different companies. The companies select, and let me tell you, you know, the battery is, I mean, it's, what, two inches big? You know, and, and then you stick it in the charger right here, and you stick it in the wall, and boom, it's ready to go. I mean, it doesn't get no easier than that. And it's just extremely, extremely convenient. And that's what's so great about marijuana these days is it, it, it's become convenient. It used to be a big deal when you wanted to go smoke and you had to go around the building and pull out a joint or whatever apparatus you had and you're hitting it and you smell like smoke when you come back in and stuff like that anymore. It's just quite this easy. Hit, hit a vape pen and, you, and, and, you, and you're ready to rock and roll. So if you're looking for something really convenient, you know, head over to Cure Leave, you know, ask them for their, uh, their select fresh cartridges. And like I said, I think this is the future of marijuana right here, okay? And in, in, in the in these pens now like I said there's different ways to ingest and get CBD and THC and hemp into your body um, here at Dignitary Cafe and that's where we are right now and for those of you in the marijuana world uh, this is your cafe and when you come in you're gonna know it it has that feel uh, we sell some different products here and um, like I like to tell people it's not only about getting high okay there's therapeutic benefits to CBD and and there's lots of them and there's a lot of different ways you can get CBD in your body through the products here there's different ways you can do it now hemp flower hemp once once again comes from the hemp flower it doesn't come from marijuana it doesn't have THC in it and if it does it has a what I mean a minuscule I mean a minuscule amount and hemp flower is something that people can smoke at night it does relax you a little bit and I'm gonna give you some you know some tips if you have some THC and you want to, I guess, make it go a little longer or a longer way, but you still want the medicinal use of the hemp, just grind it up, some hemp flour with your THC that you got a cure leaf. It's that easy. And then you get a little bit more, a little bit more bang for your buck as, as you go forward. So over here at Dignitary Cafe, we sell our own branded hemp flour. So you want to definitely come check that out. We have CBD powder right here that it comes in a little scoop 25 milligrams it's like what i mean a little scoop i mean it's a tiny like smaller than a dime scoop that you put in your coffee you blend it up and there you go you have your cbd in your coffee okay and for me i do it every morning like i said i played football for a while i got aches and pains and banged up and my my head's been smashed all cbd goes a long way okay it kind of evens you out and, and and makes and makes you feel good it makes you feel good doesn't make you high though that's not what CBD is about I like to say that CBD is kind of a, a leveler okay that's what that's all about I said earlier about the um, the gummies that will put you to sleep if you don't want to go that route because the gummies that will put you to sleep are gonna get you high let's get that straight all right because there's THC in it and and there's there, there's, there's quite a bit there's actually uh, 10 milligrams per piece you can go this route as well and for those of you that just like to mess with CBD Advanced Modern Medicine makes a great CBD sleep syrup that uh, we sell here at the Dignitary Cafe. Here it is right here. And I take a little bit before I go to sleep and uh, you're going go, to go night night. When I don't mess with the gummies, maybe I'm out of town or something like that, I always keep my CBD sleep syrup with me. And uh, this makes you feel excellent, okay? And you're going to feel kind of calm and eventually you're going to be asleep before you know it. Also, we have a bunch of Delta 8 products here as well. For those who don't know much about Delta 8, um, Delta 8 is kind of new. Uh, a lot of people don't know a whole lot about Delta 8. They just know it makes them feel good. Once again, there's medicinal use to Delta 8 as well. Drip is a great product. They're local. Uh, I, know the, I know the owners, and this is a great product. 
over at the uh, 420 uh, Fest SRQ, we sold a whole bunch of drip Delta 8. And we barely sold any hemp flower, but we sold a whole lot of Delta 8 because people are going getting going there to get high. I mean, that's the, that's the way it is. People in that world want to get high. So, you know, it's, it's your choice which way you're going to make it happen and which way you're going to go. Now, our sponsor of, the, of this podcast is the Turp Pen XL. And here's my Turp Pen right here. And uh, I've talked about it for quite a while. It's not rocket science. And then I've tried, um, you know, day, uh, dabbing before. I didn't love it until I ran into my Turp Pen. If you look at Turp Pen, it looks a little bit bigger than a pen. It's a little bit heavier. It's very sturdy. And the Turp Pen is about the dabbing. And when you go to Cure Leaf, you can go there and either get, you know, shatter or crumble. I wasn't really versed in that as well. Shatter to me is hard to deal with. It kind of looks like glass. It's not glass, but it kind of looks like glass. It's just kind of hard to deal with. To me, shatter kind of looks like a sturdy pudding, kind of something like that. And all you do is you take the top off of your Turp Pen XL, you stick it in there, inhale, and boom, you're dabbing. That's it. That's it. I mean, that's all it is. And you put the top back on, and you're ready to roll. So for those of you that want to get into the dab world, the Turp Pen XL is the best way to do it. I didn't mess with it until I messed with this Turp Pen XL. You can bring it wherever you want. You can actually put some of the crumble or the shatter in this little dispenser this right here. You take it off and you have it with you wherever you go. So if anybody wants to get into the dab world and the Turp Pen XL, uh, Turp Pen XL is going to do some special things for our listeners and if you go to www.terpenxl.com and you can get 10% off if you use the discount code CANNABISPOD at checkout. Once again, www.terpenxl.com and you get 10% off if you use a discount code CANNABISPOD at checkout. So take advantage of that. I tell you what, I absolutely love my Terp Pen XL and uh, I, I use it all the darn time and when my fellows, when my boys come in, they seem to be asking for it too. So. They're mooches, you know how that works. Now, for those of you who don't love to roll, okay, I, I'm a pretty good roller, I'm not gonna lie, but I went over to Gandhi uh, Smoke Shop the other day, and my guy Brian convinced me, and you know, I like to be efficient as well. They have these raw cylinders right here. They're empty, boom, real easy. They're just cones. You stick them in this little contraption, it's a raw contraption, and all you do is, Go to cure leaves, you know, get the, you know, some ground, and you just stick it in. Boom, boom, boom. Hit that with the stick a couple times. You take it out. You, you kind of wrap it at the top, and it comes out like so. I mean, it's about as easy as can. I mean, that looks like a professionally rolled joint, period. You can't roll like that you know, freestyle. No way. I can't do it. Nobody can do that. So you see how easy that is? It starts off with the cone ends up being this wonderful roll joint right there. So for those of you that don't like to roll and they want to be big willy and roll around like you know what the hell you're doing, uh, you can mess around with those raw papers and you can get one of these six shooters, which is uh, a real cool way to, to roll and a real easy way to get it done as well. And once again, I like to get you guys hip to all the coolest contraptions. Here at Dignitary Cafe, we only have one grinder and it's a Tsunami. And this is the most heavy duty grinder I've ever been, been around, okay? It catches all your keef on the bottom, which you want, obviously. And what's cool, you know, about this grinder is it has a little thing up top here where you can kind of put your weed up top so you can kind of deal with it. And instead of it being flat and it falling off, it's kind of concave. So you put your weed in there and you can kind of deal with it and it just is a practical thing. So Tsunami, and once again, you can come here at Dignitary Cafe, 4817 Southwest Shore. And we got a lot of cool products for you. And I think when you walk in here, you'll understand why people are starting to roll through here. And people that are in the cannabis world uh, kind of love this place. So that's what that's all about. So, uh, you know, the cannabis world is growing every single day. And as somebody who's going to grow with it, uh, that's what this webcast is about. That's what my podcast is about, and uh, that's what this world is becoming, and that's why we're doing, 
we're going to 420 events in Sarasota. That's why we're putting on our own events on 710 and uh, to get you guys a little bit more versed in what's going on in the cannabis world. And I'm just trying to learn every single day. And uh, you can't learn too much. You can't have enough education. And that's what that's all about. As I spark up, I want to thank CureLeave for being a title sponsor. And uh, do yourself a favor. Head over to CureLeave. And before you order something at CureLeave, do, do me a favor. Ask them, what's the special? That's the way to do it. The special may be buy two, get one free. It can be 40% off if you spend $100. There's always a special going on at CureLeave. And if you know what it is, you come out of there sometimes and you spend 150 bucks and you come out of there with a shitload of marijuana products. And that's what it's all, that's what it's all about. It's a bit about getting more bang for your buck. And they just have the best smoke out there. They're rarely out and we always know that everything from there is top notch, it's first class, and that's what it's all about. And to me, customer service might be the most important thing. So go where to Cure Leave. They say they have one on Gandhi Boulevard here, right across from the Starbucks. They got one on North Florida. And they have one have them way, 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 way down there on Dale Mabry in the Lutz area. You know, that area where us South Tampa people, what we never hang out. So uh, we're going to start doing this podcast. We've been doing it every week for a long time. We're going to start doing the webcast every week as well. Uh, one love to WeBeam TV. And uh, once again, it's about making us look good, making the product look good, and, uh, and spreading the word. That's, that's what it's all about. So you go out there, follow Toasty Treasures, and you can find these really cool bongs, homemade bongs, and we'll also be supporting local products. So I want to thank everybody for listening in. This has been the Dignitary Cannabis Podcast. Everybody, make sure you tune in every single week. I appreciate y'all. Go out there and smoke something delicious. I know I will. Peace out. For more information on medical cannabis, make sure to follow Ian Beckles on Twitter at Ian Beckles. This has been the Cannabis Podcast on Radio Influence.